So we're starting to identify a number of these veins into the east of Kearney. We have a, a, a key target in between Kearney and Joshua vein. We have another vein set uh, that we want to test. So we're pretty excited with what we think we're going to find here at, um, at our project. Hello to viewers tuning in. We're catching up with Galandas Gold. Galandas operate the producing Omar Gold mine along with other exploration assets across Northern Ireland, of course. And I'm pleased to be catching up with Mario Stefano, who's the Chief Executive Officer of Galandas. Hi, Mario. Hi, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so um, last we spoke, uh, you know, you have the Omar project, your 4,000 meter drilling program underway. Could you tell us about some of the latest drill results and the catalyst that investors really need to be looking for for Galantis at the moment? Thank you. No, those are, those are great questions. So uh, in terms of our drill results, investors would have seen our, our last set where we drilled about 2.5 meters of 21 grams gold. And, and the reason why this drill hole was particularly important is that we identified another dilation zone. And for those that aren't familiar with what they are, Basically, it's areas within our ore body that has the potential to um, host higher grade gold, but more importantly, thicker widths. It's where we have these cross faults. Uh, so this is really important because we, we, we may have identified another dilation zone. And this is in addition to the other high grade hits we have hit, such as um, 30 meters of 17 grams at Joshua. We hit seven meters of uh, 31 grams in another dilation zone. And the holes that we also announced on the last drill results also hit the additional C lens. So now we have a number of parallel ven lenses running uh, parallel to the Kearney vein. And this should not surprise anyone because if you look at the uh, resources for the Dalridian project, they, we hear they could be up to 9 million ounces at 13 grams. It doesn't really matter. I think when they got sold, they were... Uh, six million ounces at 13 grams, but they identified about 26 veins. And we've only identified a small fraction of those, but from work, we know there's a number of veins here, but we just haven't tested them. So I think I find it very encouraging now that we have the, the Kearney vein, the Joshua vein, the B lens, where the last set of drill results um, was over two meters of 70 grams gold, uh, the C lens now, so we're starting to identify a number of these veins into the east of Kearney. We have a, a, a key target in between Kearney and Joshua vein. We have another vein set uh, that we want to test. So we're pretty excited with what we think we're going to find here at, um, at our project. Certainly. Excellent. Um, so a lot of drilling going on, lots of holes, yes. as you mentioned. And, uh, but what's the, what's the sort of strategy to really find this? Is it a case of as much as possible to expand the resource now, and then you're going to sort of hone that in and focus on getting these assets into production, or are you going to keep using the cash flow for the, from, from existing production to just keep going, really? Yeah, well, that, lead, that leads us right into the catalyst. Um, so in terms of our timeline to get back into production, we're anticipating by the end of June, we'll start producing some ore from, from our project. Uh, again, we're going to be ramping up to about 45 to 5,500 ounces this year. And then our plan is to increase that to 18,000 ounces next year. Um, if you look at our resource, our, our, our resource is over seven grams. The drill program that we've undertaken, it's about 4,000 meter drill program. And today we're drilling underground at the Kearney vein. Really that drill program had, had two key um, uh, um, catalysts for us. The, the first one obviously was to expand the resources, which I think we have done. The second was to increase our confidence on some of the inferred areas that would support our mining plan, which I think we have done. And I think we've actually exceeded what we initially started. When I got involved about a year ago, you know, I didn't really understand these dilation zones. Mm -hmm. And now we've been able to pinpoint, uh, and I'm using that uh, <laughs> probably pretty aggressively, but we have a good sense of where these dilation zones may be occurring. And that's why we've had some great success on our drilling, because uh, our, our geological team now has, has a better understanding from underground mapping where these dilation zones may occur. And, you know, as we continue to drill to depth, down plunge, you know, if we find some jewelry boxes there, as people like to use with, with gold companies, yeah. you know, the Fostervilles of the world and the Macasas of the world, you know, there's probably no reason why there isn't 
thicker, higher grade widths as we get deeper. Um, we just got to continue to drill because there is no geological end to the system because it's open down plunge to the north. And we've already identified mineralization over three kilometers east west, and it's still open on strike and, and down plunge into that. Mm, fantastic. So, just coming back to the company and the financials, things are looking pretty healthy, and you've upped your skin in the game as well. Um, other than yep. sort of monetary declaration of that, that's a you know positive sign of uh, confidence in the project and the company going forward. Yeah, look, I, I think we've got a great set of shareholders uh, that are very supportive. We have uh, Melcourt, uh, which is our largest shareholder, a UK uh, fund. You know, we also have Eric Sprott. We have Mike Gentile. We have Ross Speedy. I mean, I think we have a tier one uh, shareholder base, which I think is going to always bode well for a company as we move from, from the exploration to the development. And now we'll be going in production by the end of June. I think that's going to be very supportive of the company. And one thing I really want to point out here is we've taken a slightly different approach to mining than a lot of the other juniors out there. We recognize, and I'm going back, it's not just myself, I'm going back to the history that junior mining companies um, have, have really tried to build some of these big projects. They could be 200 million, 500 million, a billion plus style projects. And juniors have extraordinary difficult time to finance those kind of projects. We've done this old school, which is we're going to start small scale, just like the old timers used to do. You know, if you looked at Mikasa, you looked in the Timmins camp, you looked in, in Australia, you start small, you know, generate your cash flow and you mm. continue to build because the gold is always in the ground. It doesn't disappear. I don't have to mine 200,000 ounces from, from day one. Don't get me wrong, it'd be great. But if I got to spend 500 to a billion dollars to get to that level, my existing shareholders are really going to are not going to have much of the company by the time I finance it. So uh, we decided to go small scale. And I think because the nature of our deposit where we have high grade veins and we're going to continue to drill, if we can, if we can demonstrate to the market that we're going to be producing the gold, which we're confident we will, while also delivering on some great drill results, which I'm confident we will as well, I think this is going to bode well for shareholders. Yeah, absolutely. So a busy summer ahead, really, for you, Mario, continuing this it drill build out. Um, any of the key exactly. milestones that you 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 want investors to sort of watch out for? Um, yeah, I like the next that. phase. I, I think the key next one will be the start of production. As I mentioned, uh, mm-hmm. by the end of June, we're, we are drilling again at the Kearney vein. So there will obviously be some more drill results coming out as we continue continue to progress uh, our drill program, and we're also going to be doing some regional work. So, you know, pay attention to some of the regional work in the area as well, because, again, we really want to show the market that we're in a major district here, which I think we are. And that's one of the reasons why management and shareholders have been very supportive of this company. Yep. Excellent. Well, Mario, thank you very much for the update. It's really good to see that you're on track and things are looking thank you. good over, over there in Ireland. And we look forward to catching up on SATV further down in the campaign. All right. Thank you. I really appreciate it.